Greetings and welcome back to some more. Oh, I nearly said Lara Croft. Tomb Raider Underworld. And we are going on to coastal Thailand. Oh dear, we've got more sharks. Do we still have the harpoon gun? Oh no, we've got Uzis. Ah well. Right, die, 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 die. I feel like this is not the most effective way to shoot a shark. Well, he's a bit far off. We might be okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I played Underworld when it came out, and then I just kind of forgot about it. And then I... Oh, I'm liking this water, actually. I appreciate water in games. I think I'm always just... I always just look at the water, and I'm like, how, yeah, but how did they actually do that, though? Oh! See, I didn't actually think she'd be able to get out of that. That's kind of higher than you would normally expect, but um, yeah, cool. Um, Lara, move, move. Can we climb on that? Ah, oh well. I mean, do you know something? Maybe I, 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 I criticised the game in the. Uh... Oh yeah, she did splay her legs out quite a bit in this one. I criticised the game in the previous level, saying they never really got the sort of subtleties of stuff characters can climb on but actually that's pretty good actually because it just sort of blends into the rest of the environment you don't necessarily uh, it's not necessarily immediately obvious um, but yeah I played this game when it came out um, 2008 and then I just kind of forgot about it you know I think of all the the incarnations of Tomb Raider I think the Legend series is the one where I was kind of like uh, you know it's not bad it's just I don't think it's got the staying power of oh Oh, was that a? Oh, oh great! There's a spider there, so we're gonna um, we're gonna fly and kick it. Cool. Oh, is this just for a secret? Oh, oh yes, there that there that thing is. Ah, oh. oh oh god, I hate spiders. I hate them so much. The wall uh, behind my computer has got this little stain on it. Um, where I recently saw a spider just make... I was working at my computer and then I just saw this spider skittering up the wall and I freaked out and grabbed a boot and squashed it. I hate spiders so much. I just go I just go into like sort of fight or flight mode when I see one of them. But yeah, that the, the health things in this seem to be little jugs and jars. <sighs> right, so can we keep going upwards? Oh. Oh, she belly flopped. Oh. I love the background music. It just makes you feel like um like you're kind of going into somewhere magical and mystical. Can I oh, oh no, can I not go up? Oh, she she just like sort of just runs off the edge of things. So, oh, and see that thing like the way pushing um Pushing bushes aside and all that. I mean, I suppose it is natural movements, but um, it, it sort of it feels like to play the game. It kind of feels like it's getting in the way of other stuff. You know, almost like it's inhibiting the player's ability to uh, do other things. Like, sorry, Lana can't actually do this jump because she's pushing a branch out of the way. What? Oh, I just dropped a grenade. Whoops. But wait a minute, in the cutscene was she not looking towards where those birds are and then when we climbed up the birds flew out of the way. We can't go round the other way, can we? Oh, Lara, for God's sakes, just... We can't go up round this way. No. Oh, wait, we can. We can, can't we? I can see grip thingies. Oh, 
Ah, yes. Oh, that would be the maybe that's the birds. Yes, I take back all my criticisms about climbable walls in the previous level. Clearly, it is subtle, or <laughs> I wouldn't be struggling. Oh God, you know I just. Oh. Yeah, the. Oh, I hate you so much, Lara. I, oh, I should have moved over more, shouldn't I? The camera in this game is not great, and it is going to trick us up. A oh. Turn your light. Wait, is the light on or off? Oh, right. Yeah, playing Legend and Anniversary back to back and then going on to this, there's something weird about Lara's movements. Alright, I don't think I was over all the way. There's something about... Oh. Okay. Oh, is there more spy? Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh no, 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 no! I do not like this. I think maybe there's a sort of kitchen sink mentality to stuff. You know, like, do we really need Lara kicking stuff? Because that's just going to get into... I mean, how many times already have I tried to press the action button but she's kicked instead? Um, uh, yeah, it just feels like they're maybe... Oh, Lara, I fucking hate you. She's done that deliberately because I'm criticising her movements. It's just as well this is a really pretty environment. I mean, look at those... Oh, God's sakes, the stupid graphics didn't get in the way. I mean, look at those bricks and and like the sort of the detail on the different colours and you know some of the, the the stonework is darker and some of it's lighter and some of it's stained and it, you just feel the age of it. It's really nice. Oh, I was meant to slide, wasn't I? There we go. It's this thing in gaming, if you if you disturb a bird, it means you're on the right track. Oh god! Oh, I'm never going to Thailand. Oh, the spiders are just hellish. Uh, so keep going up. Oh god, but this is just so lovely, isn't it? Oh, man. I, I not too long ago played the first Uncharted game and it was around about the same time I played this game the last time and uh, wow I mean well uh, they came out not quite a year but almost apart I think Uncharted Drake's Fortune came out about 2007 and then this was 2008 but still I mean oh man th this just knocks Uncharted out of the park visually All right, are we doing a oh oh god? I thought we were doing a rebound. <laughs> right. Ah yes, there's a ledge. This probably would also be a bit better if the camera wasn't absolute pants, but we'll probably have uh, plenty of examples of that in the future. Oh, that's a reassuring sound. Did I come running down a hill or something? Oh, I do like this that we're we're running in between like sort of two sort of rock, got rock faces on either side. It kind of feels like we're journeying into something. Oh, did I not just see it? Oh no, that's a bush. Oh wow! Oh no, it's fine now, but... 
hope is there's something weird going on with the camera there actually just as I was running in here you know it's not doing it now but it was very stiff and unresponsive you're just taking a very noticeable second to respond where the hell is that tiger I can hear it oh good phases to kick well thankfully she's got her boots on this time so she's not going to injure herself. Do I have to climb up something? Can I? Nope. Yeah, and that as well, the way she just rebounds off of... I mean, it, it does cause a lot of issues. I mean, you saw that when I was playing the previous level, the way she kept rebounding off of stuff instead of jumping on stuff. Where am I going? Do I have to... Oh, um, there's a, a ledge thingy there. Oh, am I going up here? Yes. See, you can see all the moss in the stone as well. Oh, it's such a good looking game. Wait, where, oh, am I going further along? God almighty lad, I just got up there. Oh, look at that. Is that not just wonderful? I mean, look at that. It's, it's, it's little moments like this that I think make Tomb Raider. It's the moments when you just step out into an environment, whatever environment that is, and you're just like, wow, look at that. giving me flashbacks. Oh. Hmm. But, but, oh, there's another one over there. going over there <gasps> oh I sort of accidentally started swan diving because I, I pressed the jump button and she wasn't jumping so then I wanted to press the uh, button to make her drop um, and by the time I pressed that she was swan diving where exactly am I going oh Onto that. Um, down. Grab the pole. And then down and then down. Oh, and there's a health thingy down there. of stones ah huh. oh, that's what I was thinking of did, did one of those tra tigers just take oh hi gosh you're closer than you looked in the cutscene wow I shoot one of them at a time just this 
not the one where you can matrix jump on a... Oh, I just did it, didn't I? That's unfortunate. I mean, luckily they are not an endangered species. Oh, I like the way she, um, oh, another health thingy. See the way she just runs or she sort of jumps over, she automatically jumps over obstacles like that. I mean, it is kind of nifty, but at the same time, I want to jump. You know, maybe maybe it's just a personal preference, but you know, like when characters, oh, other health thingy, when characters actually do things, I want to be the person who's doing it. If you know what I mean, I want to actually press the button and make the character do the thing. Uh, I always feel a bit iffy about you know automatic actions. I think that's also why I'm really annoyed with. Um. Like it happens a lot in RPGs when you've got a group of characters and you only really control the, the main character, you know, like the other three are controlled by the computer, that just really irks me. I want to control all the characters on the screen. Oh, but it's faster and more dynamic and more realistic. Uh, yeah, whatever. Right, where am I going? I keep seeing all these notches on the thing I'm using. Oh, presumably we'll try to get up there. But I'm not seeing... Do I have to rebound it? Oh, God. Mm. Mm. No, they're too far apart. Right, so maybe there's a... There we go. Hmm. Oh, this is lovely. I'm I'm sort of a bit fed up in general of sort of forest areas in games because it kind of feels like it's it feels like it's the thing every game does. It's got the forest area. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of a challenge for developers to actually create them and make them really feel alive. Shadow did it very well, actually. Uh, when the adrenaline meter is full, headshots can be triggered. Oh, that must be what I was thinking about. Yeah, I'll do an adrenaline headshot on a... one of them at a time. Steal the pipe into the target receptacle. What? Steal the pipe into the target receptacle. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Steal the target receptacle. Oh, right, okay, that must be... Right, okay, whatever. Um, I really did... Get oh my god! Where were you hiding? Oh, and I, I'm sure there's another. There is. There's something else. Right. Just right. Okay. Fine. Oh, good. It's a bat. It's a bat. Lara's arch nemesis since the very first game. 
Right, well I feel I could have done that better. Oh, there's more, there's more. I do feel playing... Oh my... Oh god, she just didn't jump. She decided she didn't want to jump. Yeah, I feel like playing these games... Um... Oh god, where am I going? Alright. Uh, the the three games in the Legend series back to back, I I, I kind of feel like Legend actually had a really f good fun combat system, and then it kind of just feels like they've been trying to reinvent the wheel for for the next two games. You know, it kind of feels like because uh, I mean anniversary. I, I I I found the the whole adrenaline dodge or rage meter or whatever the hell it was. It, it irked me. It just felt like a sort of overcomplication, or just a oh, just, just it just felt annoying. And then, I, like I, I mean, I probably shouldn't judge Underworlds until I actually figure out how to do it again and remember how to do it. But it does feel like it's just an added complication where how it was done in Legend was perfectly fine. I actually didn't know that spiders made little sort of squeaky sounds when you, like, sort of ah sounds when you... It actually sounds like um, like a, a small animal, you know, like a, a rodent or something. There's some vases over there. Right, are we? Oh. Are we meant to be jumping? No. Oh, piss off. I don't really see how it was easier to get to that one than this one, but oh, whatever. Oh yes, she sort of... Were we doing that in the previous two games where she sort of jumps to angles? Mind you, that was... Oh my god, why? Wait, is this spider respawning? That was kind of the big innovation in, in Chronicles, was that her ability to, to jump at 45 degree angles. The characters are Vedic Sanskrit. They're severely weathered. Bhagavati of the Seventh. It must be referring to the capital of <laughs> the lowest infernal world in Hindu tradition. It's a netherworld populated by snake people, although the enlightened one, Narada, spoke rather fondly of it. Oh. That's Shiva on top, and his mistress Kali is down below. So I said in the previous... Oh, um, I, I had a wee chuckle on the, the cutscene there because... She, she whips out her camera, films for like a half second and then closes it again. It's like, Lara, you, you need to have more footage than that. You need more than a half second of footage than that or your editor is going to get really irritated with you. Um, yeah, I said in the previous video that the whole Norse thing that I saw in, or like sort of Norse words that popped up in Final Fantasy VII made me sort of get interested in uh, 
um, Norse mythology. But um, I have to confess, I just assumed Shiva was just a name that they came up with for, you know, like the, the ice summon um, that they, they keep using in, in the various games. It never occurred to me to look it up and find that it had something to do with that it too had a, um, a real world meaning or reference. Hot! 